guys, welcome back to video number 30, and this is a continuation of the last video. So in the last video, we echoed our variables, and I'm going to go ahead and echo our other table right now. So I'm going to give it a break tag, and I'm going to echo PHP, echo table 2, let's close it out, and we'll save it. Okay, so we echoed our variables into our main content, and it outputted, and that's awesome because it worked, but there could potentially be a problem here because we could very well be echoing values that do not exist. So look at our variables that we created. What if they are not set? How do we fix this? Well, we need to create some default values. So what I'm gonna go ahead and do is I'm gonna create another line of code and I'm gonna give it a variable that is equal to nothing. So I'm gonna go ahead, well, I'm gonna give it the same variable of our our pages. I'm going to use this right here, but I'm going to set this variable equal to nothing. So I'm going to go ahead and give it a string table two equals just quotations, and we'll go ahead and close that out. And then for our else if statement, I'm going to go ahead and give it nope. Now give it table one and set this equal to nothing just a string of nothing with double quotations okay well now since we did this there's more than two outcomes that could happen now so we need another else statement so let's go ahead down here else let's give it the curly braces and we'll say if they're both equal to nothing close it out nope table one our information and then table two for our pages. We'll set these both equal to nothing. Okay, so say we pulled in variables that didn't have a value. Okay, so now there's three potent there's three possible things that could happen here. And again, if you want to do some comments, that's fine with me. Why wouldn't it be fine with me? Make as many comments as you want to. So we'll just call this final else statement because uh, there is more than two things that can happen. Okay, so now let's go ahead and look at all this stuff. Everything looks good. Let's go ahead and save this and let's reload it now. And let's click around. This should be one. Okay, perfect. This should be one as well. Perfect. This should be two. Okay, this should be two. Video should be two. New PHP video should be three. And services should be three. Okay, perfect. All right, so I know we're taking the long way home and we're making everything, all of our code, absolutely crystal clear. And you don't really need to do it this as stringent, but again, if, if you know how to do it this way, it's going to be a lot easier to fly through it, you know, in a couple months from now. And you guys are really dominating PHP. So hopefully this made sense and you guys were following along just fine. And good luck with this. And I'll see you guys in the next video.